It's the day after the coronation. Let's see what the British media is up to. Some seem to be doing okay, but others... I'll tell you how I'm doing. Not well, bitch. Lots of lip reading and bad air jokes. So many of them. A big story seems to be, were Charles and Camilla early or were Kate and William and the kids late? Just like any other family then. Lip reader reveals frustrated King Charles moaned, we can never be on time. Royals, they're so relatable. Then we have old scabbers over here. Arrogant Harry, facing the cruel reality of all that he's lost. Banished to the third row. <laughs> JK looks pretty happy getting off the plane in LAX with a dream and a card again to make it to his son's birthday. Then there's this article from the Express UK. Harry faces new level of embarrassment as Archie's birthday ignored. They're talking about how the royal family social media did not recognize that it was Archie's birthday. Is that embarrassing for Harry or embarrassing for the British royal family? I don't know, kind of seems cruel and seems to go against the whole doting grandfather thing. Then there's this one from The Telegraph. From Harry's Uber to Louis' sarcastic clap, the coronation moments you probably missed. Nothing weirder than an Uber, but also as an aside, it makes me deeply uncomfortable the way we talk about Louis. A sarcastic clap, he's five. You see, it's all well and good and cheeky now until they turn on Louis when he's a teenager. Louis seems to have a wonderful energetic spirit for a five-year-old, and I hope he doesn't lose that. And then there's this. Prince Harry spotted talking to Eugenie's husband about Meghan Markle during coronation. What did he say? Apparently, Jack says, and is she? Harry nods his head and says, it's not ideal. Jack then goes on to say, if it makes feel any better, even I can do it. It's not quite the life, is it? I haven't had time for that. Not if it's over. The prince then says, it's an eventuality. What does this gobbledygook mean? And how do we know it's about Meghan Markle? Disturbing news out of the Telegraph. Met police in coronation row after women's safety volunteers with rape alarms arrested. They say they acted on intelligence that protesters were using them to disrupt the procession. This is why these new protest laws are very scary. This from The Guardian might be one to dig into later. Colonialism and controversial guests inform Africa's reaction to Charles's coronation. It highlights the mixed reactions from across African Commonwealth countries. The Guardian also looked into the TV audience for King Charles's coronation. It peaked at 20 million. Although that is the most watched broadcast of the year, it is smaller than the 29 million who watched Queen Elizabeth II's funeral. To sum it up, Harry, grumpy time stickler king, lip readers, Louis, Catherine, princess of Wales, fashion, sword lady.